All right, conduct the hypothesis test and provide the test statistic and the critical value and state the conclusion. So a person drilled a hole in a die, so talking about dice that you roll, uh, with a lead weight, and then proceeded to roll it 200 times. Here are the observed frequencies, so how many times they rolled a 1, how many times they rolled a 2, and so on. So they rolled a 1 29 times, 2 30 times. It says use a 0 0.01 significant level to test the claim that the outcomes are not equally likely. So, and you kind of know it because it says it right here, but what we're doing, to, trying to see is if there's some difference, which would be your chi-square. So I am going to open StatCrunch because I definitely don't want to do this by hand. And I need to type in you could type the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but they're not needed. You're not going to use it. So I'm going to type in 29, 30, 40, 39, 29, and 33. All right, now from here, I'm going to go to stat, goodness of fit, and chi-square test. So I want to see if it appears basically that they, they cheated. And this stuff is used, this is actually pretty cool. This is used a lot with businesses where they check to see if they padded the books to see if the values are what you would have expected them to be. So I think I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> Let me go back. Stat. Goodness of fit. And chi-square test. No, I guess I clicked the right thing. I think it's just... I have to scroll. My, made my window so small, so it looks different different to me. There we go. All right. So the observed is what we observed, which was in that first column that you can't see that I can't get it to move. And do do this here. So observed is that first column. That is what you observed. We want to test because if you just think about probabilities of rolling a die you should get 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, right? There is one way to get a 1 out of 6 different outcomes. There's one way to get a 2 out of 6 different outcomes, all right? So that's all I do is I just select all cells are equal. Nothing else is needed here. And I hit compute. And what this gives me is the test statistic that I will enter in over here, 3.76. And hopefully by now you've gone through enough hypothesis tests to know the test statistic is based on the data. The critical value is based on a table value. So I need to open up this chi-square table. It wants 0 0.01 significance. You're going to see you're going to have to scroll all the way to the right. The degrees of freedom is the sample size minus 1. Well, this is... There were six, right, six spots on a die. So we're going to use the degrees of freedom five, and I'm going to go across until I'm, at, until I'm under 0 0.01, and I get 15.086. And I can close that window. And now it asks me the results. Now, it, it didn't ask you for a p-value, but sometimes students like p-values better to state the conclusion. The p-value is the probability that I believe the null. Well, that's definitely greater than significance. Well, the same thing here. My test statistic did not fall. Okay, so my test statistic did not fall in the critical region. So there's no reason to reject the null. And so there's not suffi sufficient evidence to support that this was a loaded die. So it appears that um, these values were equally likely. So the loaded die does not appear to behave differently from a fair die. So basically, whoever made this loaded die didn't do a very good job. And that's it.